Yeah, man. Murder man. Murder man, you dig. Behind the scenes. Smoking up one. Smoking that bag. That bag bag. That bag bag. Yeah. <laughs> Pulling out receipts on my <laughs> That bag bag. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> coughing and all. Yeah. You see it, man. Big log cabins. Big log cabins. They could, it might Lincoln as well. Logs and shit. Lincoln logs. Like, real live Lincoln logs. So, uh, uh, So, <laughs> so what's it like, uh, breaking your old stuff out and promoting yourself? How you feel about it? Feel about my own promotion? Yeah. I got enough fucking money for it. <laughs> 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 I'm doing what I can <coughs> manage with what I have and working with a lot of people and local artists, it's easier to promote. And it's a lot. Right, right, right. It's a lot cheaper. It's a lot cheaper. So you would say <coughs> it'd be cheaper. <coughs> to self-promote <coughs> than it is to spend some money for promotion, Let's just but say it's just the labor. A million views on Facebook alone is $20,000. Right. So, sure. and it's all really goes off shares and comments is what you're looking for when you share something. Right, right. So, it's really getting your local support or have a support system like you would anything else, addiction to anything. Right, you right. Need a support system. Right. So, so, so how, so how do you feel? How do you feel about the support system and the supporting cast in Lexington? I think it lacks a lot, but people are waiting for someone to come out of Lexington, whether they want to admit it or not. Right. It right. might, it might just be their self though. Right, they right. might just want them to blow up to carry Lexington, but everyone's trying to do it, and that's the problem. Right, right, right. In the support system, there is everyone's trying to support each other, but don't really, can't really be fans to a big-headed motherfucker. Right. So, <clears throat> so with, with with it being a lack of support in the system, how 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 far? Are Lexington artists is getting that are down here? How far are they getting? Shit, they'll make it to some shows in New York or to uh, the radio and be played locally. But man, that's something Memphis has been doing for years. Right. Uh, that's um, something Houston, like uh, Paul Wall, the Zero Slim Thugs, been doing for years. Right. 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 So. <clears throat> It's really on the artists and, you know, fans is a big part of, you know, that's your clientele. That's your, you know, if you, any other business, you need clientele to sell your product. Facts. Your fans, everything. Facts. Facts. <clears throat> so, so, this motherfucker is big, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's ribby. <laughs> but, um. So, is there is there is there any local artists that you feel that have a chance in it if they get the right push or get put in the right hands? Well, what's what's dope about Lexington, Kentucky, and the music in Lexington, Kentucky is all original. Facts. And um, yeah, I ain't even saying it because you hear it but yeah bro you and smiley fmk and bro right, got right. their own original sound right right and uh people like wani um 
based solely on like R and B music and stuff like that, got their own sound. Right. We haven't really copied no one to do a sound. <coughs> it's just is our sound gonna blow up or sound different from the Detroit or anywhere else out here? Right, right. So so you feel like not just saying my group, not just saying your 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 circle, but other people also have like their own little style. But if we was not having our own buzz, what style do you think Lexington would portray in the rap game, or in the music game? I, I should say, not the rap game in the industry. So, I think. Like the only two styles really anyone could portray for real is that down south style, um, an in between Memphis style, or a Detroit style because Detroit's <coughs> by birth, they, yeah. they got that fast paced style, <coughs> but then they got a Royce the 5 9 lyrical style. Yeah, so really, I don't see no other genre of someone getting into music and not going for at least one of them styles. Right, right, right. And, and, and the fact of it is, like, if you look back on it, Detroit was like the 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 expo, you know what I'm saying? Like it it, it was like where like they was with cars. They, you know what I'm saying? That's where that's where the industry of business, you know what I'm saying, business-wise for, you know what I'm saying, other outlets came from. You got to think about the Ford, man. They did their little thing with that. But that's getting off of the subject. But what I was meaning by it is, like, they they have, they the Motown, you know what I'm saying? They, yeah. They've been having the sound since then, but they, they made their own sound. So as you're saying it, I see what you're saying. It's like they created their own buzz. Like, we need to create our own buzz down here. That's that's what it is. We need to make our own sound. Cause now even Florida got their own sound. Yeah. That little twang. Yeah, they shit, definitely you know do. Yeah. That little uh, more like that swag shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's facts. And they diverse too. Yeah, that, they are too. They definitely are diverse. Cause it, it's a whole lot. It's a whole lot of it, it's a whole lot of artists that I know down there that me and Smiley knew that when we went down there that they got a whole different diverse style. It's, it's dope. Yeah, but you see right now, Detroit, they taking over, bro. Yeah, they, they are. They always have been like. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, if we was old school a couple of years ago, it would be New York. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But see, New York. New see, York's waiting see, on people New like York this, is so waiting. That's for real. Like, New York loves that shit. They love to take people with. They love to take people in in that music industry, but streetwise they're gonna fuck you up out there you know you, you can't be too you can't be too close too close for comfort down what there you consider new york style like a nas yeah 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 i think nas is a perfect person for the new york style bro krs krs like was like yeah they was they was across the bridge it was just they was diverse they was the first of the musical diverse to come facts plus that's where it all that's where it all started at you know yeah. what i'm saying so just shout out to them you know what i'm saying I, I just i'm not that brainiac you know what i'm saying i'm not i'm not that brainiac to put words in it you know what i'm saying how they put it up or, but you know they all about math you know what i'm saying Ugh. mathematics and knowledge you know what i'm saying and wisdom you know what i'm saying it's keen up there you know what i'm saying they, they, they own that for real. They about that science, man, for real. But keeping the same topic, numbers, everything, bro. It definitely is. Like I said in the interview, bro, <clears throat> we keeping us from being mainstream. Just because you local doesn't mean you can't be a Hollywood figure out of the hood. And, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's this numbers, is numbers, bro. If you have millions of people follow you, it doesn't matter if you're Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, any of them motherfuckers. Facts. Facts. We, man, RIP my name, Chris, man. Chris Gray, man. Yeah. I feel like, man, if he, if he, if he was alive, man, he, he would have been, been a, a, a uh, he would have been a great comedian in, in, in late.
question to. I think he would have got a shot. You know what I'm saying? He would have had a shot. Because he, he going he gonna to clown on anybody. But that's why I could see, you know, I can't pinpoint why people kill each other. But that's why, bro. Because, like you put it best, man. Crabs, Crabs in a bucket, in a bucket man. Yeah. That's facts, man. Lexington, man. It's crabs in a bucket, man. It's not, not on no gang shit, no none of it, no, no none of it. All I'm, I'm saying is the the crabs in a bucket effect is in Lexington. Period. However you look at it, everybody, everybody wants to sham, but don't nobody want to see the next person sham. They they pull on their own people to get to the top, and which they ain't gonna do nothing but fall over. Jay, yeah, you back at the bottom again. Right. So we just need to change this a ripple effect. It's like uh, you didn't have a daddy growing up, but you gonna have kids and not be there in their life. It's the ripple effect. Right, it's the right, same thing right, as holding right. people down, but not working with people. If you start working with people and they willing to work, you make them write music, you're, you're inspired again. Facts. And that's the best music you can get is being inspired behind <coughs> it. For real. Real. <coughs> to make a difference, approve it. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Send a message and to try to spread this positivity and work with people and try not to have that same ripple effect or the crab in the bucket effect. That's why that's that's why the music that me and bruh make, you know what I'm saying, that's why it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? And if you don't feel it, you don't feel life. Because what we talk about is everyday struggle, you know what I'm saying? We talk about the, the, the facts of life, everything that's really going on around anywhere. It, it, you can relate this, you can relate our music to any hood, any neighborhood, any residence, any square area of the motherfucking map that's going through problems you can relate to it like it's not just about no gang banging killing movie my da 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 all that jewelry shining woo -woo -woo. It, it ain't all about that like we we in the struggle and we trying to get out of the struggle but we want to open the eyes of our peoples to see the same thing that we see so we trying to unlock you know what I'm saying? Unlock shit. It's a whole shit. different game when we started rapping. But it's crabs it's in a, a bucket, bro. It's a whole different bro. game, though, bro. Like, it's a whole different game. From when we started rapping to now, because, man, you got Young Thug want to do some Biggie shit live in a fucking sweater that Biggie wore, but don't know the lyrics. <laughs> and then say, oh, I'm better than Tupac. You don't even know Biggie's lyrics. <laughs> like, come on, man. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. That's so uh, stupid. <laughs> My fuckers don't even know Biggie had a lazy eye until 2019. Like, come on, man. Mm. Ain't, come on, bro. I started when there was a handful of white rappers. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I was the first one to do this if Eminem didn't. Facts. But it's also the sound in your voice, bruh, because, man, y'all looking for a certain thing that used to be and not what is now. Yeah. Like, for instance, uh, Asher Roth only got big because he sound like Eminem. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. It's facts. So that's what they looking for is a person to replace someone when it's not even like that. Now, uh, rapping and making music's a hobby. Everyone does it. So how are you different is today's game. How are you different? Even if it's blah, 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 little pump shit, how are you different, though? He's obviously different. I mean, everyone out here, even the Yachty's and, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They must have something, like you said, some motherfuckers is harder freestyling than actually what they and it's all commercial shit. They yeah. tell you to dumb it down and, and yeah, for real. they they <clears throat> told us when they was giving us the contract, they told us to dumb it down. They don't want all that. So that's why you got little yachty's pumps and all this and that's why they're making the music they're making. Yeah. 
That's why I said in that song, shit. Fuck the rappers, I ain't aiming for them no more. I want the A&R. Yeah. For real. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're the ones corrupting shit. Yeah. yeah they the ones fucking everything up. Real shit. They used to critique that shit a different way. Now they, they, they fabricating that shit for their critiques. Yeah, they try to keep shit simple to yeah. like where motherfuckers ain't got overthink it. I, there's some Eminem songs back in the day I've listened to, and it's like, man, damn, he said that, and I still ain't caught on to that. Like, <laughs> five like years, five six years, years later. later, like, damn. Like, ah, oh, shit, that's what he was saying. Like, damn, that's what he was meaning by that. Yeah. And Jeezy was the same way on a lot of his shit, bro. In Thug Motivation one on one, all the punchlines, all the shit he said, bro. Everyone's first uh, real album, bro. And after that, they get puppet, pu- puppetized. They puppet. <laughs> they puppetize these niggas, bro. Real shit. Put the they strings need to get on that one in, though. Yeah. That first one. That's why that first one got to be a hit. Yeah. I mean, look what they did to Future, bro. Future did not rap like that, bro. He did not rap off of Marshall like that. That was my nigga. Yeah. Yeah, I was slapping free bands, nigga. You yeah. did. <laughs> I don't know, man. You think they you think they they trying to get a hold they I feel like they got a hold of Boosie because Boosie ain't the same no more. Yeah, I just think, man, it's what I said, it's the people you surround yourself with and the inspiration you get. Because yeah. you ain't gonna make good music without being inspired to make it, bro. I'm not making the sh- same shit I was at the last year. I was feeling it last year, bro. I yeah. mean, this year, it's just, I mean, I got it, but uh, my inspiration ain't that, bro. I'm a father first, man. I gotta find something more yeah. inspiring than that now. Yeah. Just, you know. Yeah. Now I'm working on tracks that are meaningful, like, due to being a father and stuff, so people can relate to being a father like family music you, you, more because shit you know what i'm saying that's what's hitting yeah you uh you just you you, you just said something about uh you got some tracks coming up what what, what you got on there you want to speak on that you want you know uh, i got a whole that? no cussing album you know meant for like you know what i'm saying but it still keeps it raw it's not no like aladdin soundtrack, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> you feel me, but it, yeah, yeah, like parental guidance still with, uh, you know, some of the like stressful some times network. I'm talking about in <laughs> life or something like that, you feel me, just to explain to your child more yeah. about stress and depression and shit, because all I'm spitting is facts, yeah, what people need to hear and what people are willing to hear, so it's not bombarding by cuss words, and, you know. Right, right, right. Yeah, I'm doing some other shit. What you got on that? Ill, what what you what you got new coming on that ill side? On the oh, on, on the on the other tip. I unless got, you still want to keep talking about that. Uh, I got new ball months and exclusives. I'm two in right now. Um, more Lex Lena tracks, videos. Yeah. Um. Shout out to Big Homie Lex. Yeah, shit, uh, got everything in the works, man. I got a bunch of collabs. I won't really say the names, because you know how collabs go. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, bro. I've hit up a lot of Lexitown artists before, you know, next year I go into the mainstream artists and do collabs. I ain't gonna say no names. Yeah. But, uh, I got mixtapes and just songs I'll drop now. So, yeah, yeah. it's coming, bro. Okay, okay. Well, uh, you, uh, uh you, you got any, uh, 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 uh you, you said something about the visuals. Uh, what, what visuals you got coming up? Uh, the, the Paul Munson. What, what you got with interview? 
Yeah, they exclusive visuals. They ain't songs you can hear other than Ball Mustin. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. Then um, I got No Feelings that's been leaked out. So it's the green screen footage. Uh, no Feelings. It wasn't. It was on the first uh, mixtape, Volume yeah. One. On Volume One. Yeah, okay, okay. On that pair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh. Yeah, I'm doing that. Did you record my whole 